Hey all, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Had quite a few people request in the comments on our last video, the best bargains in bourbon or the best bang for the buck, if we could do the same thing with rye whiskey or scotch. So we decided, talk to Trent, we decided we're going to do it with rye today. Why not? The best rise for the dollar. What's the best bargain, the best bang for the buck? Now, keep it in mind, that doesn't mean it's the very cheapest. You can find some excellent rye whiskeys that are 50, 60 and above. But is it worth the money? That's what we're gonna dive in today. Now, my bourbon collection is far more extensive than my rye whiskey collection. So I didn't struggle as much as I did coming up with a list today than I did with the, the bourbon. However, I still ended up with 10. Trenton, I got 10. What can I do? What can I say? Hey, babe, it's your favorite category. Rye whiskey. I know. <laughs> I know. Who'd have thought? So I have 10 bottles to show you that I personally feel is a tremendous bargain for what you're getting. Now, keep in mind, again, prices that I'm going to give you are in our area and they could vary. And, and that's a fact, and we all know that. So let's get moving, huh? Let's get started with the very first one. You know the very first one I'm going to show you. Old Forester Rye, one of my absolute favorites. Uh, this one is a stalwart in my bar, just like the Old Forester 100 bourbon is. I use this extensively in mixing cocktails. It's also a wonderful sipper. This thing is 23 bucks. It's a hunter proof, perfect proof for mixing. And what I like about it, it has a little bit higher malted rye uh, percentage in the mash bill, which, which gives it a very distinctive flavor profile. You're gonna get some baking spices in there with a little bit of vanilla in there too. It's really, really nice. You don't, you get a little bit of spice, but it's more of a pepper spice. You don't get that rush of rye spice. It's got more of the, of the nice baking spice flavors in there, which I really, really love. Now, keep in mind my bottle, we got it down at uh, Old Forester, our last trip down to Kentucky, but uh, this is a one liter, but for the uh, 750s, 23 bucks. Absolutely can't beat it. All right, Trenton, we good here, buddy? Yeah. All right. Next in line, might surprise some of you folks. This is a Trenton pick. George Dickel Rye. I'll be honest. I was a bit surprised when the boy said, hey, man, you might want to try this rye. It's really, really good. I'm like, George Dickel Rye. Did I not, Trenton? You did. I was, I was questioning the boy, but he was right. This stuff's awful darn good. I mean, it's 25 bucks, it's 90 proof. It is chill filtered, but finished in their sugar maple uh, charcoal finishing process. But with that finishing process, you get a beautiful creamy rye note with this. And then, it, and then it flows into like a really sweet vanilla note too. Very sugary even, but you do get that rye spice, but it's very sweet rye spice and a very sweet vanilla note. Trenton, you had me on this one. Excellent, excellent buy, 25 bucks. All right, next. This is not new to any of you folks out there. Still a wonderful bargain. Rittenhouse Rye, bottle and bond, about $25. 100 proof. This one again is is a little bit more mellow, a little bit of the pepper spice, not a lot of that 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 harsh bite of the rice spice. A little bit of a pepper spice, but more mellow and fruity. Another fabulous, fabulous mixer. Rittenhouse rye. All right, moving on down the line. I don't know, Trent. You like this one? Not a huge fan. I didn't think you did, but I'm putting it in there. You know why? Because I like it. And I'm back here and you're over there. So bullet, bullet rye. Another one about 25 bucks. And this one here is, was it 95 proof, Trenton? Yep. Okay, thank you. 95 proof. Another one about 25 bucks. All right. Trenton doesn't like this one so much. You know, this is the MGP. Yep. This is an MGP. This is a 95% rye mash bowl, 95.5, 5% malt barley. What I love about this one though, he may not like it, and that's okay. I, I know why he doesn't like it, because it has that minty pine, right, Trenton? It's that orange. You don't like the orange? I absolutely love the orange, I man. See, I w if it was like 110 proof and it had that amount of orange, I'd love it. 
but really low, it's a little bit too. low for you yeah. okay, but for me i love i love that orange peel you get in there and it does have some, a nice fresh minty pine honey really nice fresh minty pine in the glass remind you of christmas <laughs> it does i should have this for christmas and watch elf we should do this and watch elf that's what we should do hey i like it it's in the list bullet ride all right moving on to the vine i got a buffalo trace for you here in Sazerac Rye. Now, I put it in there. I know it may be a little bit hard to find, and, and I get that. I really do. But for the most part, we see it how often, Trenton? Once a month, twice a month. Yeah, quite a bit. And we can usually get it for about uh, 28 bucks. It is 90 proof. So it's a little bit sweet. It's fruity. It has a hint, just a hint of caramel in there. But what I love the most about this one it's got it's got that undertone of anise flavor flowing through the juice as well. That's what I like the most. It's pretty distinctive. It's very distinctive. Uh, it's just a nice pour. You know, it drinks very light on the palate. I love it. I love mixing Sazerac cocktails with the Sazerac rye. All right. One we've talked about a few times, but I got to put it on the list. Pikesville Rye. Trenton and I found this rye, what, a few years ago, Trenton, and we've, we've, we've bought multiple bottles. It's about 50 bucks. It's 110 proof. So there you go, Trenton. The proof point's perfect on this one, honestly. What I love, this stuff is really good. It's got a beautiful cherry note in there. It's got some, it hits you with a little rye spice. It's got a beautiful cherry note, and it has a little bit of vanilla in there, too. I think it's fabulous. I really do. About 50 bucks. All right, we're going to move, keep moving here with wild turkey. We do have a wild turkey in here, and it's wild turkey rare breed. Do they call this? Yep, barrel proof, bud. Wild turkey rare breed barrel proof. And this one is 112.2 proof. All right, now. This one's non-chill filtered, and it's very, very important because that non-chill filter lends towards a beautiful, creamy pour. This is really, really nice. It has, it's not like a caramel note. It has like a deep caramel note to it, a deep and rich caramel note with like a, a light menthol type of a rice spice rather than a heavy, bitey rice spice. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Really, really did. All right, next in line. I, Trent and I, we really love this stuff. I'm telling you what, New Riff it comes out with some fantastic, fantastic rise. This is the New Year, the New Year, the New Riff malted rye. This is a six year rye and it is a hunter proof. What I love about this is that it's, it's mash bill is 100% malted rye grain. So it lends to a beautiful, elegant sip little bit malty but some some really nice flavors in there as well with some powdered sugar and a, and a little hint of toffee in there too that's good stuff in a trend that's good stuff all right moving on the last two that i want to show you are, are are outside the box just wonderful flavors but something that you wouldn't really expect with rye whiskeys the very first i want to show you is this hard truth sweet mash rye this thing is only a two-year whiskey, but wow, 115.2 proof. It is about 70 bucks. But honestly, you get a burst of summer fruits with some raisins in there too. Yeah, honey, summer fruits and raisins. And what's, what's beautiful about this, it, it's a nice, sweet whiskey that has a solid spice base. This isn't something you're going to get that heavy rye bite, that rye spice, but more of a pink peppercorn type spice to it. Beautiful sweet sip with a little bit of bite. Absolutely fantastic. Last but not least, this is one of my new favorites in the bar. You guys spoke a lot about it when we did the double oak video, but this is a rye, so we couldn't put it in that video. Sagamore double oaked. Wow. 96.6 proof. It is about $80, maybe 85 bucks. But to me, Trenton, right now, that is the best rye that we have bought so far this year. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's got some beautiful caramel notes. It's got a lovely hazelnut note in there too. But what I love the most about it, it has an, an amazing 
toasty oak note. They age this for four years, and then they put it in what they call a, a wave stave. They call it a wave stave barrel, and they finish it in that barrel for 18 months, and the wave stave barrel is toasted only, no char. And to me, that toasty oak in there is just absolutely ridiculous. It is lovely. Love it. All right, that's what I have for you today. The best bang for the bucks, the best bargains, in my opinion, in rye whiskey. As always, would love to hear you from you and see what you got, see what I've missed, see if you have any good additions to my list. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. Hey, we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.